Bakush shalom people, Bakush shalom. Now, the fashion world has done it again. They have done it again. They have done it again. I I came across this article while I was checking my going to check my email, and what do I see? I see a model wearing a hoodie with a noose as it's drawstrings. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna read this article and I'm gonna give you my thoughts throughout because I don't know what's going, well, I know what's going on, but I don't, I don't know why these people think that they can just do the things that they've been doing, blatantly disrespecting us you know what I'm saying? And I believe also that they are trying to see what they can get away with. All right, so the title of this article says, Burberry deeply sorry for sending model wearing noose down runway. So they're just basically sorry for sending the model out with the noose on. How about you should have never made it? How about sorry for even making the product? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Let me go ahead. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Let's see. Come on, compute. Here we go. Uh, all right, it says models, mental health advocates, and social media users <laughs> were left reeling with anger after Burberry sent a model down the runway with a noose around her neck at its London Fashion Week show on Sunday. The horrifying item made from the drawstrings of a hooded sweatshirt was criticized by model Liz Kennedy. Kennedy walked in the Burberry show and wrote a now viral Instagram post about the item on Monday along three, alongside three pictures of the noose. One of the pictures was a screenshot taken from Burberry's chief creative officer Ricardo uh, Tisky or Tissy, whatever, Instagram about the autumn slash winter 2019 collection, which has since been removed and it should have been removed. It absolutely should have been removed. All right, and then the article goes on and says, <clears throat> Suicide is not fashion, Kennedy wrote in her post, pointing out that impressionable youth rising suicide rates and the horrifying history of lynching should be enough to stop a brand from presenting something that resembles a noose all right from right there the first thing she should have said the history of lynching because you know everybody basically identifies a noose to hanging of slaves or hanging of black people all right and also a hoodie is also you can also equate a hoodie with quote unquote black folks, all right? And, you know, since that Trayvon Martin thing and everything, you know, they already think, you know, a black person wearing a hoodie, you know, that's threatening and stuff. Even though all races wear hoodies, but for some reason, when we wear a hoodie, it's threatening. So not only they gonna have the hoodie on, they gonna have a noose <laughs> as the drawstring. I'm not laughing because it's funny, I'm laughing because it's ridiculous. And anyway, let me keep on going. Kennedy also said that she was extremely triggered by the noose as she experienced suicide in her family. Feeling as though I was right back there, back, right back where I was when I was going through an experience with suicide in my family. Also to add, and, and they briefly hung one from the, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Also, also to add in, they briefly hung one from the ceiling trying to figure out the knot and we're laughing about it in the dressing room she said so these doggone idiots is hanging the noose trying to figure out the knot and you doggone better believe they was not thinking about suicide or anything they was thinking about lynching black people I guarantee you that I guarantee you that I guarantee you that this is ridiculous all right Kennedy says she attempted to speak with someone about the item after a fitting, but says she was asked to write a letter instead. <laughs> Crazy. 
Okay. Um, I had brief conversation with someone, but all that that it entailed was it's fashion. Nobody cares about what's going on in your personal life, so just keep it to yourself. She added, and you know, people have absolutely no conscience. All right, whether it's, you know she felt felt offended by it because of suicide, but to me, this is a this is a blast on on us. You know what I'm saying? But they saying nobody cares. It's fashion. That's crazy. That's crazy. Everybody should care about that. Okay, now we're going on to the rest of it. All right, it says uh, Burberry CEO Marco Gobetti, or Gobetti, however you say his name, and Tissy apologized for the item in a statement provided to HuffPost UK. And right there, you know what? People, <clears throat> a lot of people, you know what? When people do stuff and they do wrong stuff, they not sorry for it until they get caught. They not sorry that they did it. They sorry that they got caught. They sorry that somebody got offended by what they did instead of using their brain and looking at the situation where you got a hoodie in the news and you walking out there, you got to think about these things. And these things had to cross their mind. I'm sorry. They trying to see what they can get away with. And that's what's been going on lately on this planet. Seeing what they can do, pushing that boundary to see if nobody says something so they can push more, push more. That's why you got all this blackface stuff going on and all these other uh, fashion, the other people in the fashion industry doing all this racist stuff, offensive racist stuff. But when you say anything about the gays or the transgender or the whatever, whatever, you know what I'm saying? It's a problem and you have to tiptoe around that. But you don't have to tiptoe around being racist and being insensitive to people that went through suicide, being insensitive to 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 um the lynchings that went on since slavery all up into the 1900s almost to the mid 1900s and uh, probably even after and it still is going on today because the guy did get hung a few years ago um i forgot what state it was a, a southern state though this is crazy all right continue on this is the berber ceo all right we are deeply sorry for the distress caused by one of the products that feature in our AW2009 runway collection, Tempest. Uh, Gobetti said, though the design was inspired by the marine theme that ran throughout the collection, it was insensitive and we made a mistake. Yeah, you made a mistake. And it wasn't a mistake because y'all did it on purpose. And it wasn't inspired by no doggone marine theme. But what, marine theme of what? What's that supposed? What what is supposed to be? Tinsky echoed Gabetti's thoughts, saying he was deeply sorry for the distress. He's deeply sorry for the distress, but he's not deeply sorry for putting that out there. They knew what they was doing. All right, they were just seeing what they can get away with. While the design was inspired by a nautical theme, I realized that it was insensitive. He said, adding that it was never my intention to upset anyone. No, that and he told the truth. He didn't. He wasn't trying to upset anyone. He was trying to see what he can get away with, and he thought he could because how, how everything, how progressive everything is going on these days. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, it does not reflect my values nor Burberry's, and we have removed it from the collection. I will make sure this this does not happen again. And they go on to put if if you were someone. Uh, you know needs help call a certain number for the national suicide prevention lifeline or the international association for suicide prevention and the crisis text line but see what's really was really not being talked about really now they, they sticking on suicide but that noose was a death device for blacks for for hundreds of years you know what i'm saying and that is totally disrespectful that's a person with no conscience and that is totally racist. I don't care what they try to say, a nautical theme or marine thing, that's a bunch of baloney bull crap. Alright? Because they've been stepping over us for years. You know what I'm saying? That made the N word and the N word and became popular and everybody saying the N word. People wearing blackface all of a sudden trying to think it's cool. You know what I'm saying? These doggone fashion. Um, industry they just doing all this racist stuff and saying all this racist stuff and all this stuff is coming out you know what i'm saying 
and and some of it is sliding so now they think they can come out with a hoodie that's that is you know what i'm saying which people relate to black folk and then the noose which is very very disrespectful no matter whether it's suicide or the lynching of black people you know now they knew better than that and i know they knew better than that you know and that's why i always say that we are the most hated race we the most hated race quote unquote race in this whole entire planet earth we are we are all races got a stigma about us they see the stereotypes that place about us on tv in the movies and what the news media put forth you know and they don't like us now i ain't saying all of them don't like us but as they a lot of them some of them don't you know and it's a shame that we constantly have to go through this you know and we constantly have to see this but a lot of us would sit back and not say nothing and would just take the suicide thing as the lady was saying but really to me that was some old back in the day slave master type stuff you know that was a uh, an outfit of oppression that was an outfit of death to me is 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 it symbolizes a black man in a hoodie being hung even though a white lady was walking down the ramp with it and i i hope she i i i, I don't know what she felt like but she probably was feeling crazy walking on that uh, runway with that on unless it was nothing but white folk you know you know what i'm saying but anybody with a dog on conscious anybody with the right mind we knew that was wrong if we had to be so sensitive and watch what we say to gay people if we had to use all these gender neutral words so we won't offend transgender people you know what i'm saying why can't they do the same for us you know why can't they do the same for us i couldn't believe when i saw this i said this is, this, is that serious you know a lot of people might say oh you you just tripping they said it for marine thing but no man that's the that's the there would they would never come out and say this is a representation of a black person all right this is disrespectful to a black person and we did it on purpose because we don't care that we got a hoodie with a noose at the drawstring they would never come out and say that you know but it is what it is it is what it is and it's very offensive and it's very degrading the people that are designed that designed that should be ashamed of themselves the lady that wore that should be ashamed of herself the people that approve that should be ashamed of themselves you know what I'm saying they should be and believe me they are only sorry because they got backlash they never got any backlash for that they would not feel sorry about it at all and truthfully it shows their true views even though they say otherwise you know what I'm saying because they if they say that it was a racist thing you know what I'm saying Burberry probably lose some money you know what I'm saying? But they're not trying to do that. So they got their PR work to try to cover up their tracks for being racist, for being insensitive to the past, to the past of us so-called African Americans, being insensitive to people who uh, experience loved ones committing suicide by by hanging. You know, that's very insensitive. All right, so. You know that's about it but this is a ridiculous thing that's why we gotta start making our own clothes and stop buying our own products from our own people 
we have to do that um i know it's hard because we don't own anything we don't own any textile companies we don't own no type of lumber company we don't own no type of resources but as the best we can we need to try to produce our own and sell to our own and buy buy from our own and keep our dollars in our neighborhood all right so i'm ending this again this was a disgusting display from some races and y'all just tell me what y'all think about this you know y'all take it easy this is bg for prayers of the breach for Shalom.